Now the journey began at what's called the Temple of the Rainbow. And this is an ancient site which is Inca, but also shows elements of being pre-Inca as well, and somewhat megalithic. The only way to get to both the Temple of the Rainbow and the Temple of the Pyramid is by hiking. It requires you catch a taxi for about half an hour outside of the city of Cusco, and we wander through the landscape, including ancient terraces, which are Inca. The Temple of the Pyramid is not visited by many people because it's only known to local people. So we had to hike along small Inca trails with our friend Wilco, who is our shamanic local guide. And much of the Inca trail here is very small, but still used by modern day people because people live in the highlands of this area in small farms. And so children, for example, use Inca trails like this to get to school every day. So after crossing a little stream and going through a forest of trees that were actually imported from Australia, eucalyptus, following yet another Inca trail, and wandering through the landscape to some degree, we finally spy some megalithic elements. So you can see these cut bedrock shapes are incredibly ancient. We can tell that by the weathering patterns. So we see the presence of probably two cultures. One ancient megalithic and then a wall likely created by the Inca later. This is standard in this area. Wherever the Inca constructed things, it was usually at an older megalithic site. For some reason, and it's kind of obvious, the Inca were in awe of whoever was here earlier. They were in awe of the megalithic builders and therefore they would make a sacred site here, a place of special worship and ceremonies. And usually the megalithic sites are built where there is water, either underground water or surface water, such as streams. And it's quite possible that the cutout shapes were done for acoustic purposes. More research needs to be done into this to find out the exact nature of who the megalithic builders were and why they were constructing their ancient sites in these areas. So here is Wilco and he's showing off some ancient features. Again, all of these cutout surfaces, there are thousands upon thousands of them in areas above the Cusco um, landscape. And here we see ancient water channels. It's amazing that the Peruvian government maintains sites like this because we were the only ones there that day. And at best, there would be possibly four or five visitors per day to a site like this. But as Wilco is pointing out, the water was channeled along the landscape some in terms of, uh, of the channels are just cut from the bedrock and in other cases um, the Inca enhanced these by building little rock walls with a channel in them. But Wilco is pointing out a little waterfall feature.
And here is Irene. She's sitting in an area of cutout form. And then we have Wilco at the site itself of what is called the Temple of the Pyramid. You can see that the uh, pyramidal shape was above his head. These places, of course, are very calming. We don't know if that was the original intent of the construction or whether there were more profound uh, acoustic properties that were employed. But it's a very serene environment and well worth a visit if you happen to be in the Cusco area and have spare time after having visited Machu Picchu, etc. And then by employing my quadcopter Pachacutec, we get to see the complexity of the ancient landscape. Again, you see Inca constructions in the walls and then the cutout shapes, which are most likely much older megalithic. But it's the blending of the two which is common, and we see this in many areas, such as at Kenko, at Sacsayhuaman, at Oyente Tambo, at Machu Picchu, etc. And so we invite you to join with us on one of, one of our Hidden Inca Tours. That's www.hiddenincatours.com. And that will let you see these amazing places for yourself that very few visitors even ever know about.